Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you want to see how I achieved this silky sleek retwist that was not done in a salon, done 100% by me. I never used to retwist hair until I got my locks. I just learned along the way. If you want to see what products I use, technique, I guess, method on how I retwist, then keep watching this video because everything is going to be in the description box, all the products I used. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial, not really, but it's mostly just like my lock routine, what I do for my locks. My locks are mostly self-maintained. I've had locks now for like a year and seven months. In the year and seven months time, I've only gotten, I believe, two or three professional retwists. And honestly, I don't feel like they were as good as mine. The very first one was, and I was only a month lock, so that one was amazing for me because I basically had an afro and it looked crazy. So that one was amazing, but the other two that I got when I was more down the line, I didn't really think that it was better than my um, retwist. I feel like I've been able to get it really, really sleek, really smooth, really nice without causing myself any pain. Um, and I've got my locks retwist once by my sister who also started my locks for me. So you do not have to go to a professional to get your locks started. So if you're watching this video and you've been wanting to start locks, but your big thing has been, I want to go to professional, but they charge so much and I don't have the money right now. And I want to save because that's been my thing. Like before I got locks, like I wanted to go to Napstar and then I wanted to go to Nia, Lock God Salon. If you're from New York City, then you know those places. But they're so expensive to start locks. It's like almost $500. And if you want triangle parts, it's just like, no, you're going to pay almost $1,000 just to like have your hair coiled. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to have my sister do it for me. And I'm so happy I had my sister do it for me because if I would have gone to get them professionally done, I thought that I had wanted my locks so much smaller. I never wanted thick locks. But my sister, she did them for me. And my locks are super thick and juicy. And she parted it much larger than we thought that it needed to be parted. And I'm so happy that she did that because my locks are so unique. They're so beautiful. I get compliments on them all the time. And I love them. I love my locks so, 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 so much. Funny story. Last night, literally last night, I had a dream that I combed my locks out. Because I go through phases where I'm like, I don't want them anymore. So I had a dream that I combed my locks out and no lie, I woke up the next morning devastated. I was like, what have you done? Like I was trying to do styles and it just wasn't given. Like I just feel like locks are now a part of who I am. Like I just, I love them so much. Like I can't imagine like not having locks anymore. So this is your sign to get those locks started. Get your homegirl that know how to part, know how to do braids, know how to do a little comb coil, your sister, your mama. Look at some YouTube videos, do them yourself. You can do single, single strip. Okay. Do them yourself. Do them yourself, okay? You can go on YouTube, you can look at how to do two strand twists, how to do a finger coil. It's so simple, I'm telling you guys. Um, I watched this girl named Desiree. She was like really a big motivator for me getting my locks. She'll show you how to do comb coils and all those things. She does all like the lock information videos. So you guys can watch her. I'll leave her link down below. I hope I remember. But if I don't, just remind me and I'll pop it in. Um, I'm going to be putting links to everything that I'm using. And it's not really a tutorial. It's just like my lock routine. If you want an in-depth tutorial, leave that in the comments. Alrighty, so I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Last time I kind of updated my channel about my locks, um, I never showed like how I wash my locks and like products that I use and things like that. Okay, wait, I'm going to change my shirt real quick and then I'm going to come back. The shirt that I'm wearing now is given unnecessarily exposed and um, I'm not trying to do that. So it's a tank top and it's kind of see through, if you know what I mean. So we're not doing that. Okay. So, back to what I was saying. I think I updated you guys on how my locks are going, but I didn't really sh ever show how I care for my locks. So, this is what my locks are looking like now. It's looking very dry. My last retwist would be exactly a month ago on July 14th. Today's the 12th. 
I'm doing it now because I just got a last minute job interview and I'm gonna try to retwist it really quick in an hour before this interview. I stay doing impulsive things like this, but it is what it is. Um, so for shampoo, I really like to use the Aunt Jackie's Oh So Clean because this does not dry on my scalp. It actually makes my scalp feel very, very moisturized. So I really like to use this one. Yeah, enriched with shea butter and olive oil. It's to me, Aunt Jackie's is like the dupe for Miss Jessie's. It smells so good. Like, it smells like peach candy. That's, yeah, like, yeah, like peach candy. That's how I would describe the smell. So, yeah, have you ever had Miss Jessie's before? I used Miss Jessie's. You know, Miss Jessie's for a bottle of like shampoos, like $30. This bottle was like five, six dollars at Family Dollar. So, if you got a Family Dollar, I don't think Dollar Tree sells on Jackie's but Family Dollar does or just go to your local beauty supply store and maybe a little bit more especially if you live in New York this five dollar bottle is probably gonna be eight nine ten but still that's not 30 and it works really really good so for conditioner I always switch it up for the first like year I didn't really use conditioner in my hair because a lot of locked people they always say like don't use conditioner conditioner will cause build up and blah 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 but I'm the kind of person like every time I would wash my hair before locks I would always use conditioner and I feel like since I've been locked and I haven't been using conditioner I've definitely noticed a difference in my scalp like I never used to have a dry flaky scalp all over the place if anything my scalp was excessively oily and that was a problem like it would start to smell a little bit smell sweaty especially in the summertime it would just be so oily and like kicked up oil now it's always so dry and it sometimes hurts so i decided i'm going back to using conditioner so for the past like four or five months kind of i've been using conditioner and i definitely notice a difference so if you haven't been using conditioner in your lock use conditioner on your locks you don't have to put them on your actual locks, but please, like, I take this and I put it on my scalp, kind of like a, a mask, like a treat mask, put it all over on my scalp, let it sit for a couple minutes and I rinse it out. I don't actually put it on the locks itself. On the locks itself, I like to just use oil. I prefer to use grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, avocado, or jojoba oil. Jojoba is my number one, avocado is number two. Uh, sweet almond is number three and whatever other one I said that's probably number four because I can't remember it but um yeah those are the oils that I love to use so if you have jojoba oil use that first grapeseed oil is really good too but avocado oil I love because it has like a lot of fatty acids and whatnot and my scalp loves that so yeah today I'm going to be using this miel pomegranate and honey I used this before I really like it I like the way it smells it smells so good with the on jaggies you go from peachy to I can't remember the scent but it smells so good so after the deep conditioning process that's when I start the retwist so for my retwist as of late I've been using a combination of products yeah my sister bought this like mousse and I assumed that she left it in the apartment but she didn't leave it at my house. So I guess today I'm gonna to be using the Aunt Jackie's Curl Boss. It's like a curling gel, but it's not anything like gel. It doesn't leave your hair hard, crunchy, or flaky. It's coconut curling gel on Jackie's once again. It's like five, six dollars at um, Family Dollar. So I'm gonna use that for twisting. And just like on the very, very roots, just to get it real extra sleek, I'm gonna use a little bit of jam. I don't put it on the locks. I don't have buildup. You guys may be able to see like little white balls in my locks. I don't know if you can see it in camera, but that's actually not um, build up. That's actually when my hair sheds, it sheds from the root and the top of the hair follicle actually has a little piece of like the scalp attached. So I could actually see those little white balls. So I actually went and like picked one out and it's literally a hair strand with the white scalp piece attached. So I don't have any build up. And I always use jam, gel, whatever I want to use to retwist. I just leave it on the scalp. And then when I'm done with everything, <clears throat> I'm going to use this Daily Hydrating Finishing. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Oh, 
right, y'all. So my phone just fell in the shower. I'm trying to give you guys a good angle. That's what happened. I'm not getting in the shower because I already took a shower. I know that would be the easiest way to film this, but I'm not doing that. So I'm going to just wet my hair and I'm just going to pop back up when it's all wet. So yeah, I'm just focusing the shampoo right now. Mostly just like on my scalp. And trying to distribute that around. So once I feel like my entire scalp is saturated, I just use the pads of my fingertips, never my nails. You never want to use your nails and scratch up your scalp. That is going to cause so much trauma to your scalp. So always use your fingertips, the pads of your finger. shower i'm sorry for the constantly changing camera quality i feel like this quality is so much better than what i was doing when i was recording in the bathroom but i don't have an outlet in the bathroom so i'm not able to um have my ring light on so yeah um so right now i'm just gonna like i said the miel i'm gonna put the miel on my roots if i have some left over Oh, it's like a gel. I'm such an idiot. This is not a leave-in. Oh my God, this is not a deep conditioner. This is a coiling, scoping. So I guess I'm gonna use this to retwist my hair. It's like a jelly. Oh my gosh, your girl is such an idiot. So <laughs> I don't actually have a deep conditioner today. All right, so usually I have a deep conditioner. I usually just buy the packets like this from Family Dollar. So I'm gonna use this as a leave-in today. And I'm gonna apply this all over my scalp. Okay, you guys, so because of my anxiety, I convinced myself that I still had shampoo in my hair, so I went to go and rinse my hair again. But um, I also went to go get the rest of my products so I'm going to be using a mixture of this custard and this custard. They both have like the same as that consistency. So I'm going to be using the both of these as like my gels. I'm going to be using the jam for the extra, extra sleek look. And I got my rubber bands because we're doing um, two strand twists. I like to retwist my hair with two strand twists because it lasts longer for me. And I'm going to be using my edge brush just to brush and smooth in the parts and the comb to twist and give a tighter twist okay so okay only thing i'm missing is a hair tie let me go grab a hair tie and i'll be right back <sighs> your girl is just it's giving ghetto because i don't know why i be all over the place every time i do these things but i do Hopefully I get better. Like doing YouTube videos honestly stresses me out. But look how healthy, look how clean the scalp looks. It's giving clean, it's giving moisturized. Even without me using a deep conditioner, I really wanted to use one today, but the Aunt Jackie shampoo is very moisturizing, like I said before, so. Ouch. 
much. I really don't need to. I'm gonna have to do a lot of lock popping today. But yeah, very clean. All right, so I'm gonna start in the back. I'm gonna just section off the first row. And I'm just gonna record and show you guys how I do it, how it goes. So I have the first row in the back sectioned off. And I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so I have the first row in the back sectioned off. I don't use a mirror ever because I feel like that just makes things more complicated. So I just do everything by feel, by touch. And it feels right, then it's right for me. So I'm going to go in first with the, I'm going to use a little bit of the Miel because it's very slippery. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Miel. And I'm going to put that all over it just like that. Like so that, like so like that, like Tabitha Brown says. Then I'm gonna put some jam so that it can look even more sleek. And I'm gonna focus this only on the edge. Make sure that I don't go near the like actual look. I'm also focusing this on like the part. I really hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Focusing it more on like the part of the hair. So yeah. So now after that's done, I just grab the lock, separate it. So if you guys don't know, your locks are supposed to be twisted to the right. I mean, if you started them and you've been twisting them to the left and it's fine, keep twisting them that way. But they're always supposed to go to the same way. That's the most important thing. I sometimes myself even mess up and I'll twist them different ways. All right, I'm gonna turn around because I like can see it better. So I like to wrap any excess loose hairs just like around the lock like that. I learned this trick from Napstar. So once it's fully, fully all the way wrapped, turn it around. Hopefully you guys can see this. I just wrap it and I just like that. Just to look a hold a little bit, right? And I start with the next one, same technique. I take the brush, I don't put any more product. I brush it smooth into the part. Take my comb. I grab it with my comb. And we twist. And then we let go, you have this little lump, you just grab and you wrap the loose hairs around. So yeah, grab the loose hairs and you just twist the loose hairs around just like that. Then I take the other lock. They're both twisting in the same way as you can see, hopefully. So what you wanna do you want to twist them in the way that they're both going and twist them over each other. And I hope you guys can see it. You want to twist them down as you're doing it. Down. Twist. Down. Twist. This is not a tutorial for how to do rope twists, but I feel like since I'm here showing you guys, I might as well show you guys. I was gonna film the entire process of me like doing all the locks, but I'm starting to think now that that's gonna take a very long time and it's gonna slow me down. And I actually have a job interview to go to. So I'm gonna show you guys the rest of this row. So there you have it. There's the finished twist. It looks very sleek, very clean. Very nice. I really hope you guys can see that. Stop the hairs around, wrap the hairs around, wrap the hairs around, and twist more. You can see how it's going to twist today. Tap the scalp.
Okay, you guys, so I'm slowly making my way around to the front. So, yeah. I'm going to show you guys how I do it in the front. I'm not, like, big on, like, making sure the parts are perfect and everything like that. Like, I don't really care too much. What I care more about is like how tight and sleek it looks. I don't like it to look loose. I don't like it to look frizzy. So that's what I care about most. So, oops. Oh, the front lock. Like I said, everything is going clockwise. So that's this way, right? right. No, clockwise is this way. Well, I be getting confused. And I'm just like tucking the hair in as I'm twisting it backward, twisting it clockwise. And boom. You know, like I don't go too hard. So after that's twisted, I really just hold the front one in my mouth because I can. Okay, so like I've been doing, I put a little bit of curling custard, a little bit of jam. All right. It don't look like it yet in the camera because the other locks are not super sleek, but you always gonna put the front lock over the back one and he's gonna twist them in the same direction that you've been twisting them in. All right, you guys, so this is the finished results. I was supposed to record some of me like doing the last little bit of everything and like the last finishing touches, but I had a job interview to go to and I decided to do my hair two hours before the job interview. So like I was rushing towards the end and I did not have time. Um to put the camera back on. And then the oven repair guy came to fix the stove in the middle of me recording. And it was just, my sister called me for on FaceTime asking me for advice on an outfit. And I just did not have the time. So I'm sorry I didn't record the front. But like I said, in the beginning of this video, if you want a tutorial, an in-depth tutorial, just let me know. This is not a tutorial. This is just a lock routine. This is what I do. This is what works for me. You can maybe apply some of the things that I do and hopefully they work for you. Um, leave suggestions, comments, whatever, tips, advice, love, motivation in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I've always wanted to make YouTube videos since I was like 12 and I'm finally doing it at 27. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. I hope you all have a blessed day. Okay, remember to keep God first. Bye.